I am ecstatic. Oh. How are you, darling? Oh, I think I'm fine now. You know? I missed you. Oh, I'd like to tell you how much I missed you. Yes. <laughs> yes, I think I'll just lock this door and show you. You wouldn't. No, I don't. Greg will be here, isn't it? No, I always <laughs> think you're serious. I am always serious. <laughs> oh. Oh. I'm so glad you're home. <sighs> Me too. Okay. That's it. What? Gregory's birth certificate. I want to hold it in my hand. Oh, yeah, I've got it. Got it right here. Gregory Linden. Mother, Hildy Linden. Father, uh, father unknown. Yeah. Poor kid. Well, just... Never knowing who his father was. Just... I know. I know what you're going to tell me. That it doesn't make much difference. And it doesn't, because that kid is going to have the best father a kid ever had. That's right. And the best mother. I hope so. I know so. We're going to be the happiest family in Texas. Yeah. <laughs> What's the matter, darling? Something wrong? No. Nothing. Did I say something I shouldn't have? No, of course not. I'm just tired. A little tired, that's all. A bad trip. Well, I had to get up off in order to catch that plane, and the flight was rocky. I know. You're not too crazy about flying anyway. No. <laughs> and it, it was a little strange being at Aunt Hildy's house. I know. But it was all worth it, wasn't it? Now that we have this? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, there's a little guy that's been uh, really chomping at the bit to see you. How is Gregory? <laughs> well, he's irritating. Irritating. Boy, do you know how tiresome it is to have somebody poking you all the time and saying, when's Ashley coming home? When's Ashley coming home? <laughs> Did he? <laughs> oh, yeah. you don't know. I've missed him, too. I have really missed him. I, I can't wait to tell him we've got this certificate. <laughs> I must admit, I, I, I was a little uh, concerned when you told, him, told me there might be a complication. Yeah, I'm sorry. I wish that I hadn't had to have upset you like that. Well, what was the problem? You never did tell me why. Well, <clears throat> The birth certificate wasn't in the papers, the other papers. We had to find it. Now we've got it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now there's nothing standing in our way. Greg, come on in. What can we do for you? Hi, Vicki. Hello, Greg. I, uh, I was wondering if uh, Vina had come home. Uh, Grant, I'm sorry we haven't seen her. Well, she's not at the office. I'm kind of worried about her. No, I wouldn't worry about her. I'm sure she's all right. Well, where is she? I don't know where she went. She said she wanted some time to think and wanted to be alone. Bet she went up the cabin. Well, of course she did. Why didn't I think of that? Grant, would you like to call me? Uh, no. No, I think that I'll go there myself. Good idea. Oh, Vicki, would you do me a favor? Of course. I've got a, an important business meeting, and I need Rena with me, and we've got to be there right away. All right, what can I do? Well, I wonder if you could pack her a bag and mm -hmm. send it out to the airstrip. The jet is waiting for it out there. Okay, tell me what she needs. Oh, um, well, we're meeting some important people, so she'll need some evening clothes and some streetwear, of course, and, and some uh, sporting outfits. And whatever else she needs, I'll pick up. Oh, Grant, uh, where are you going? Uh, to a warm climate. Bye. All right, I'll do my best. Well, thank you. Oh, incidentally, in the event that uh, we're not in touch for a couple of days, don't worry about it. We won't. Uh, give our love to Rena. I sure will. Bye. Thank you. Sounds like an interesting business trip. Yes, it does. You think it is business? I think I know what to pack. I always did like that man. Nobody here. Guys, remember, just let me do all the talking. All right, Ruby, you do all the talking. Okay. You all ready? Ready. Yep. Well, I sure hope I'm not disturbing anybody. Yeah, what do you want? Oh, how are you? Hello, how are you? Well, actually, I have a problem. I was wondering if maybe you could help me. The room is 20 bucks, cash in advance. Well, that's not exactly what I have in mind. All right, 15 for a couple hours. 
Susan, do you know I think? I know. There are three of us. Uh, sir? Sir, excuse me. We don't want a room. Then what are you talking to me? Uh, well, I can explain. You see, my friend is very upset. She's looking for a long-lost relative. That's right, and we placed him to here. Not a fact. My husband's name is Bo Baker. There ain't no Baker staying here. Oh, I know, but we think he might have been here, you know, two months ago. Could be. Could you live? I'm kind of busy right now. Oh, well, we, we know you must be busy, but this is so important to my friend. That's right. I, I know it's a big inconvenience and everything, but I really wish you'd help me. You seem like such a nice man. I said I was busy. I understand. Thank you for your time. Maybe I could come back sometime when you're not so busy. Listen, sugar. Is he with you? Yeah. He's my brother. Your brother? Mm hmm, and that boy's my older sister. How much of a family resemblance? Well, we're real individual ties. So, uh, can you it? It's real important. I could maybe make it worth your while. Yeah? What do you want me to do? Well, maybe I could describe my brother Bo to you and we oh, could we go could, from there. we could look through your registration cards. Are you kidding? You know how many people come in here? Oh, come on, please. It's real important to me. Yeah? You live? Yeah, mm -hmm. Not too far from here. Well, well I think I'm a neighbor. Oh, thank you so much. I knew you were a sweet guy. Yeah, that's me, sweet. <laughs> now, when did you say this fellow was in here? Oh, let's get back in December. Oh, good Lord, the Christmas rush. Well, I'll get my records. Don't go away, honey. Oh, I won't. That guy looks like a squished frog. Ruby, do you know what he thinks? He thinks exactly what I want him to think. He thinks you like him. Yeah, I'm just going to go on thinking that and give him the first record. <laughs> Ashley! Hey, baby! <laughs> oh, I am so glad to see you. I thought you'd never get back. I didn't either, but I'm back now. Oh, I missed you. Well, I can attest to that. <laughs> Did you have a good time while I was gone? Oh, yeah, Marshall huh? and I ate hot dogs and watched a baseball game. Well, that sounds fun. <laughs> it was. But I wish you were there, too. Yeah, me too. But I tell you what, we're all together now. <laughs> Good. Did you get my birth certificate? Yeah. Right, right. Won't be long now, will it? And you can't adopt me, right? Right. You are absolutely right about that. Now, if you two will excuse me, I've got some business to attend to. Uh, tell her what a good cook I am, will you, Gregory? Should I tell her the truth? Uh -huh. I'll be right back, Gregory. He wasn't too bad. The hot dogs were okay. Yeah, I bet they were. Sit down here and talk to me. I'm glad uh, you hadn't changed. <laughs> I missed you a lot, Ashley. Oh, not as much as I missed you. I missed you more. <laughs> Kept thinking about you being at the house. They look the same? Yep, pretty much. It's weird. Sometimes I can remember ev absolutely everything about it. Is that right? Yeah, and then other times I can't remember it at all. Like, I haven't been there. Yeah, I know. You know, I, I, uh, I sat in Aunt Hilda's chair. You remember that? Yeah, I remember that. I used to read in it. Mm-hmm. Are they going to sell a house? Yeah, I think they will. Makes me sad when I can't remember it all. Oh. Listen, baby, you have gone through so much since you lived there. It's okay. It's natural for you to forget some things. Yeah, I guess so. Can't think of anybody else being there. New people coming in. I know. And all that new furniture and new kids in the backyard. Hmm. It was a wonderful house. Yeah, I miss it sometimes. Of course you do. You'll remember that house for the rest of your life. I will? 
Sure. There's nothing like the house you grew up in. But you know what? What? You're gonna have a new house. Yeah, I know. And you know what, Gregory? What? I'm not gonna tell you that it'll be the same. It won't. It'll be different. But it's gonna have its own special place. It's too. And you know, it's gonna seem like home a lot sooner than you think. Yeah, and you and Marshall are gonna be there with me. That's right. Hey, you just imagine that. All us Marshalls under one roof. Sound like you had a very good time last night. No, it doesn't. I did. Yeah? It's not exactly accurate. I had a great time. Me too. I thought the chili was excellent. Not as good as yours. No. But tasty, nonetheless. We should go to someplace really nice, someplace fancy. You think so? Yeah, I do. Uh, it's Mr. Weir's birthday. Did you have a good time? Yeah, but I didn't dance. I love to dance. Then it's a date. I don't know. I haven't done anything but square dance in a long time. It's like riding a bike. Yeah, you never forget. I forgot how to ride a bike. But you didn't forget how I was. May I have My pleasure, I'm sure. I'm sorry, Mrs. Well, I shouldn't be into dance stuff. It's, it's my fault. This is hardly the place for a dance demonstration. Surely you have something more important to do with your time, John? Yes, ma'am. Uh, Mr. Wheeler told me to stay here today so I could drive you today. I see. Has Mr. Wheeler's office called yet? No, ma'am. They were going to call me just as soon as they found out where Mr. Wheeler was. I don't suppose either one of you know. No, ma'am, you didn't say. No, of course not. Mrs. Wheeler, is there anything you want me to do with the food from last night? No. I noticed you didn't touch it, so I thought maybe I could serve it again tonight. You and John may have it if you like, but please don't mention food again. Yes, ma'am. Vivian. Yes, ma'am. Before you go back in the kitchen to cavort with John, move your like telephone number, please. Yes, ma'am. In this phone book, right here. See, it's under W. You want me to put this call through? No, I'll do it for myself later, thank you. You may go. Yes, ma'am. It's time I had a little chat with Ruby Wright. About Rena Decker. Grant. Before you say one word, listen to me. Grant. Rena, Rena, listen. I know you're angry. You have a right. I know what it must have looked like, but there is an explanation. What? Judith invited me to the house for a family dinner. That included Mark and Brett. The one thing she didn't do was tell them. Well, why didn't I, you at least say something? I realized it about the time that you arrived at the house. As a matter of fact, I was leaving. Oh, darling. I'm sorry for having hurt you. I was worried about you. You should have been. Rena, I love you. I didn't realize how much until I saw your reaction when I opened that door. There are a few things that we've got to talk please, about, please, Grant. Please. I lost you. In that moment. I don't ever want that to happen again. Not ever. Oh, Grant. Now get dressed. We're leaving. What? We're leaving right now. 
Right now? Right now. Where are we going? Now, don't argue with me. The company plane's waiting on the airstrip for us. But, but where are we going? We're going on a very important business meeting. You didn't tell me that. I didn't know that until this morning. This could be the chance of a lifetime. Well, fine, but what is it? I mean, if these people could hold the future of world oil in the palm of their Who are these people, Grant? They're the owners of the largest oil leases in the Southwest. Now we Oil leases? How many oil leases? I don't leases? know, but a lot of them. Will you please hurry? We'll Where are we going? I'll tell you the plane till you get dressed. <laughs> I don't have anything packed. I've taken care of all of that. What am I going to wear? This. I'll be ready in seven minutes. <laughs> Imagine my baby. Then you got up. Without a doubt, the taste is one of the bunch. <laughs> well done. Now, you ready for lunch? <laughs> no, I don't think quite yet. I like to put that off as long as I can. You lost your appetite? No, my appetite's fine. It's just working up a hunger for poached eggs every day. Ugh. Couldn't you pretend it was anchovy pizza? <laughs> Nobody's imagination is that good. <laughs> You're in pretty good spirits. Yeah, I, I got real good support from my friends and, and Lurlene. She's a lovely girl. Joel, I have to ask you something. Have you thought about it? Yeah, I've thought about it. Sometimes it's very difficult for a person to make the first step. Yeah. I, uh, you know, I try not to get down with that. And, but when you start making plans like that, I, I mean, you know that you're really blind. I've seen other patients go through this. I think, I think you're very strong. Well, I, I think I'm a lot stronger when Marlene's around. It, there are times when, like, in the middle of the night that, uh, I don't do so good. I understand. See, I used to make my living outside. I was a guide. Really? Yeah. But you're talking to somebody who knows what the sunset can do, like to the desert, you know. And, and that was my big thing in life, was to take people out there they'd never seen before, you know, and show them... You know, you know, And see, now I, I keep thinking about all the things that I've never seen. Like Lurleen. You know, Joel, you're a very special young man. <laughs> I don't know about that. I, I know that I'm real lucky in a lot of that. Hey. Don't, don't tell Lurleen what we're talking about, okay? I, I don't want her to win. I won't. But don't be afraid to talk about it. I'm glad to. And if there's anything I can do for you, just let me know. Absolutely not. He's not going to have any. I really shouldn't be letting you look at my files. Files? What do you keep your money, Mr. Garbos? It's my own system. It's not much of the system. I really think you should hire somebody to straighten this all out. I don't get much call to go through these. You know, it's amazing how many times John Smith and his wife have stayed here and only for a couple of hours. Well, maybe they needed a nap. Mark, I don't think we're going to find this. Ruby, look in. Oh, it's Regina Baker. Keep looking. Oh, more words than I do. More things to do. I've got it here. My Baker. It's my name. I'm trying to find that story. 
I don't know. Forwarding address, phone number, anything. Most of our patrons don't provide a lot of information. I'm not surprised. Yeah, well, he's right. There's not much here. No forwarding address. We paid in cash. Mm -hmm. There's a license plate number. Well, that's good, isn't it? Yeah, it's something. Where'd you say Bill was from? Nashville, unless you lied about that, too. I was just telling Richard Brothers. Yeah, we were, uh, for about it. Um... That means the car's from Pickett. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, what would happen to it? Beats me. Well, at least we got the license number. We can track that down. That's something. Look, are you sure you don't remember anything about this thing? Do you know how many people come in here? Hear that the guy was in room 1414 for two months. Big tall guy, kind of goofy looking, dressed like a cowboy. That doesn't exactly pin it down. Look, I probably already told you too much. And from the way you're talking, I don't think this fellow's your brother at all. Yeah, well, thanks. Uh, we already got what we came for. Yeah, thanks a lot. Yeah, well, wait a minute. Justin, so... You know, Ashley, uh, Gregory and I had a little talk while you were gone. You did? Yep. I tried to make up with him, but I don't think I had much success. Is that right? Gregory, are you still upset with TJ? No, it's all right. I think he's still a little mad at me because you and I had a disagreement. Gregory, I told you there was...